in this video, I'm gonna show you how you can find insider wallets that buy early before everyone else. So you can take a good inspiration from them or even copy them. Like for example, this wallet that I just found this morning that made 80k of unrealized profit on this meme coin and it's just in a one trade so can you imagine with this money you can put a deposit to buy a new house or you can buy not one car but two cars or have i don't know how many good holidays with your family so this is important to understand first what is an insider it's just someone who got the information earlier now how did they get the information earlier either they build the project they have an audience or they have some connections that's the three way you can do it and then when we know this is if we find their wallets then they do the work and we can copy because yes if we can avoid to do the work and let someone do it that's even perfect and now the way to find those wallets just got better and i think everyone can do it so i don't know why would anyone miss out on this opportunity that is easy to use I'm going to show you exactly here. For example, we just use Dex Screener. It's a free tool. Anyone can use it. Most of the people know you can just go into top traders. And of course, if you wonder, can you make money with copy trading? I proved it in my Telegram channel. So this one plus 220% here plus 92 percent and i have been copy trading for more than six months now i have to say sometimes it gets so hard that you would get wrecked and maybe it happened to you and i find a new way that avoid me to lose money with copy trading and actually make it easier but it requires more time so i will explain you that later now most of the people we just check top traders and it can be good i used it before you check who made the highest amount of money and one thing that is important you want to check the transaction here seven transaction it's fine four transaction is fine 10 transaction no why i'm not going to copy trade someone who go with 10 transaction plus put 22k because that's not how i trade anyways i'm not willing to bet 22k to win 26k in meme coins that's not how i want to trade and yes you can find some wallets doing this for example if we check this one okay he bought at what time that's strange we did not see all the buys he started to sell before he bought so that's probably an insider already because he sent the token somewhere else now what we want to check it's in the top traders and i'm going to classify to have the one who had the highest amount of unrealized gains this one is a bit strange already right off the bat 92 transaction bought 35k of it and when we classify it we see many many buys why would he do that i don't know i'm gonna check later on but that's clearly not someone we want to copy trade so do you realize value here by the way this meme coin i do not care about it i just choose one that was top trending and here we have four transaction and unrealized gain of 92k that's pretty cool right and yes he bought really early here and here and apparently did not sell well, the problem is that do not believe anything, so I'm going to check what's happening on chain. Hi, by the way, welcome to Hands Up Finance, where we study what's happening on chain because the blockchain is an open ledger, so we can see all the transactions, who made money, who lost money, who sent money to someone else, who is the insider, and copy them. So don't forget to do your BMI test, and let's get to it. So this address, one thing that is a bit strange, we can see only holding 0.4 SOAR. Hey, why are you doing this if you have so much money into other tokens? So now that I'm here... I want to know only for this token. So I will take the contract address and then I will go here into token and put only this contract address. All right. So like this, I can see that he sent it to another wallet. Like here, what do we have? Let's put 100 like this. We can see all the transaction. So that's probably his buying amount. Okay. That's probably the second buy amount. And that's probably the other buy amount. When it sends to bond fees, that the bot that is using to buy and sell his crypto. So if you do not use a Telegram trading bot, well, you know that already you are in a bad position. I will put you some links in the description. So we have two transactions a bit strange because he sent here, then receive back here. So, so far from what I see, this guy just did not sell anything. So maybe he bought and completely forget about it. I don't know. But what I'm seeing so far is that he bought early, 
and just did not sell. And don't worry, we're going to take a few examples. And the more you check those examples, the more you will understand what are we doing and how to find those best wallets because they clearly do the work for you. So you should always piggyback as much as you can on the work of others. Now, another way that is pretty powerful to find the insiders is right here. For example, we are on Tron chain. Everything you will learn in this video works on any chain. And now I can filter the dates here. So when I click on date, I can just say, I want to know who bought before we are be careful of the time zone always. Here, this is before 5 a.m. on the 25th of August. So 25th of August at 5 a.m. And like they, they open a bakery. I would like to be that early. Okay, boom. We apply the filters. And now I can see almost things that will be interesting. So what I want to know, for example, is how much they bought. So is that check with USD or the number of bull. Let's say that we do not want any small transaction with like $3.1. This is just noise. Here we have 1 million. Here we have 4,000. 1 million 800. So I'm just trying to check. Like let's say minimum 1 million bull. There we go. Now it's a lot better what I can see because I have the amount that we bought for example, this one have unrealized gains of 260K. Here we have unrealized gain of 232K and a PL of 120K. You see how now, if you just switch how you think, you can easily find those insiders because you know that they bought before here. So before everything was happening, and we have it like really early. Like this guy, like, oh, why? You get the info, boom. Like, why would you go? with that amount at this time. And what is interesting is that when you check uh, a lot before what was happening at the beginning, we could go like on and on and on. But here I have what happened in the last minutes. So those two wallets, I would definitely check what happened with them, why they bought so much bull. And it's strange that this wallet did not sell, right? So that's why we're gonna go on to our second way. So open the Blockchain Explorer. Here, this is Tron. And I'm going to click on the wallet of that person. So the owner address here. Okay. And now I will have the ledger of all their transactions. So now that I see their transaction, and that's why I do not advise to do blind copy trading, is always try to understand what's happening. Here, I see only one transaction. That's a bit strange. And they have some theory. They have just enough actually to make few transactions. I do not see any transfer. So they just bought and... They did not do anything. Why? I don't know. But that's a brand new wallet as well. That's a brand new transaction. So definitely this wallet was probably an insider because you would not have a virgin wallet that just bought. Now it did not sell anything. So if I check another wallet, this one started to sell a bit. When did it sell? Let's check. Bought here and I do not have a sale amount happening. So I'm going to check what's happening on chain. And when I do this, every time I will write those addresses just to save them. You can add a private name here if you log in. But here, okay, we have something that is more active. So now I will check in the transfer side as well. We can see 15 transactions. So I know this wallet was probably only playing on Tron. And we have, okay, he sent all his Tron bull to the same wallet, which is probably just to sell. And again, we just have one other transaction. So there was like literally nothing else happening, but just being made for this trade. And one thing that you should know for Solana that is different for the other blockchain is that in the top traders, you can see for the 30 days, the seven days, three days, one days, but you can also see the snipers and the sniper will help you to know who bought like super early. Because if someone bought super early, you can't really copy them. So that's no point for you to go into that game as they are using some technical thing in it. Like you are going to try to fight with speed and you're going to get wrecked. So always check if they are part of the sniper category. And a good example to use the different days. Well, we are going to see which coin had a massive growth in the last six hours. And we want an age... Let's put an age of more than seven days. Whatever. I'm going to put 100 hours. I want to know something that had a big growth. 
Okay, this one drone cat four days ago. Uh, there's still not something I want, but like Reddit cat, Reddit dog. Those two had a growth. Oh, banana tape wool. Okay, this one not bad. This one is not bad. So on the top traders, I could check those ones, but it's probably a long time ago. Now I'm going to check in the past three days. Who's been making a lot of money in the past three days on it? And again, I can see this guy, for example, bought for 436. That's affordable for everyone. And buy, sell, buy, 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 sell here. That's a strange pattern here. This guy, buy, 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 sell, sell, sell here. Then he does again the same thing. He buy multiple times. And here probably is at the loss. However, he's a strange guy. He bought like 21 transaction, sold. Okay, this one, I skip it. Top traders, last three days, 31 transaction. I don't want that. Here, strangely, I do not see any buy, any sell. Again, I could change as well to go into transaction if I prefer. And then just put the date and want to know who was buying here. Because maybe they had an information. That's how I would do it. Now, with this tool built by the Investors Boardroom, for example, I can see the p &L of the previous wallet that we found on Solana. And this one apparently is at the loss of 565 sol. So his trading days are pretty bad. And the most recent trades, we can see that it's never that good. So that's typically a wallet that I would avoid. The more you avoid wallets, the better you're going to do. And the last way to be able to see who is the best traders and what they have been doing is when you check actually the top unrealized one and you check what's happening on chain, as we said, there is another way to do that. Is that we are going to check, for example, this is quite big, like a lot of people have 1.8 million. So you see 10 million, 10 million, 10 million uh of the supply that is stuck here. Let's see if we see some movements on those wallets. There's a bit of movement. I can see that this guy received some TRX to be ready to buy. So now I'm gonna use another platform called Arcam that's gonna help me to visualize the transaction and what happened. So when I click visualize, I will see the connection between the other wallets. So we know that this wallet was the funding wallet and then we had a buy transaction. The problem is that that wallet is just a, probably an exchange so we're not going to get much information here. The other way to find insider wallets is always with bubble map. That's going to give me a visual representation of what happened on the blockchain. Each bubble represents the holders. And when I see some bubbles connected like that, it means that there was a transfer of token. So here I'm going to go with transfer of all tokens. And I can see we have a massive cluster on this one. Now, maybe it could be an exchange. I do not think so. So Banana Tape World, for example, they own about 15% of the supply. And it would have been a bit harder with the other method to find them. But here, I have the information. So now I could check some of those wallets. I click on the wallet here. Okay. Banana Tape World received a lot of it. Send it to the other ones. Okay. There's a lot of information here. And then the maker... Let's check what we have. Okay, so we are at a profit of 34K here on this wallet address. Now, I know that when this one is going to start to do something, we can have some price action. Because if I'm going to check all the wallets here, if I'm an investor, well, those guys can move the market. Same like this guy is only holding 2.6%, but those guys are holding almost 15%. That's a high number. That's a really high number. Give you an idea, 15%. So it's probably 1 billion. So 15% of 1 billion is 115 million. If I'm not wrong, I hate to do those maths while I'm <laughs> recording the video. And in the liquidity, we have only 67 million token. So they could literally crash the price. But I have to say, I do not know this project. I did not study deep in it. So maybe... It's a team behind it and it's clear. I don't know. I don't want to have the banana tape team on me because I, I like to eat bananas. And then, oh, wow, no, it's going to be misinterpreted. Anyways, now that you know how you can find your wallet and things like that, 
what I recommend to do as well is to always check what was the PNL, what was going on. So always check your top traders, but we need to know also how to be alerted when they place an order, right? Because otherwise we're going to get wrecked. And that's why with the investors boardroom, we will always check what is the profit and loss of the different wallets. For example, we built this one. Thank you, Kevin. For the investors boardroom for Tron, we have one for Solana. And I also like to use this website because when I'm going into the top traders or the holders, I can easily see their transaction when they bought and sold last. For, for example, here, last time that they were active was 21 minutes ago. And if I click on them, I can directly see their PNL, how much they made and everything. Now, if you want to use that one, I will put a link in the description that you can click, you can trade with that one, you can copy trade, you can follow the wallets, you can do everything. And talking about following the wallets, you can use different bots. For example, I tried this one, which is working pretty well, that will inform you every time a wallet is buying, selling, sending to another one. There's tons of different bots. I will put the one that I use for Solana and I will put the one that I use as well for Tron. Now, if you want to have the next step, I would put also this one. And that's basically how you can find those insiders. And the goal is to not always blindly copy trade because I could click here and copy trade on any of those chain. But if I have the alerts, then I can see not only one insider, but two insider went in. And that's where it becomes really powerful. If you want to learn more about this, why not joining the investors boardroom and researching the best wallet together? That's what we do. We have tons of influencers and we are pretty good at finding those wallets. But also what you should always check is how to actually copy trade those wallets. And I did a video right here. So I invite you to watch this right now. Of course, don't forget one thing, the thumbs up, the notification bell and subscribe that I did not mention before, but also more important than that, stay handsome. Ciao.